Hello friends, having previously explored a bit of Hamburg by the day, today we are checking out the nightlife the city has to offer. So get ready to walk the famous streets, sway to some lively music and last but not the least, experience some really groovy dance moves. Let's go. Second only to Berlin in size and population, the city of Hamburg is one of the multicultural hubs in Germany. Having already been there before and being quite familiar with the public transport system, which by the way is both convenient and value for money, I use the same to head towards Ripperbahn. Ripperbahn, the start of which is marked by the uniquely shaped building called the Dancing Tower, it's just a few minutes walk away from the St. Pauli train station. The area is the most popular place for experiencing the best nightlife from Hamburg and once you're here, you can almost immediately see a jump in the crowd density. So what exactly is the Ripperbahn? Well, Hamburg has a long history and it used to be a walled city. And the Ripperbahn used to lie outside one of its gates. It was where the city's rope makers worked to produce the many ropes needed for the port city. Today, the Ripperbahn doubles as Hamburg's party hub and also its red light district. Here you'd find concentrated amount of casinos, strip clubs, sex cinemas plus a healthy splattering of sex shops. Note that by law, prostitution is actually legal in Germany. Additionally, there are some amazing live music clubs in this area. Trust me when I say this, there are enough options available when it comes to choosing a hangout spot based on your taste. Some of these clubs are pubs with live music, some which are proper discotheques, hex, some which have live music along with the dance floor, and some which are just so packed that you can sort of only sway on the spot. I mean, for me, I really enjoyed this particular band on screen right now. They were the best amongst all that I heard this night. I really love the fact that everything here is within walking distance to each other. So even if you don't like the place, you're never really stuck. And if you just explore, you definitely find something of your choice in terms of the music, the ambience and so on. Moving on, within Ripperbahn, there's also a street called Herbestrasse. It's quite famous, so I took a walk just to get a glimpse of this barricaded one block road. And to be honest, You'd see here the site similar to any other red light district. The only difference being that women aren't allowed to walk through the street, as it'd be unsafe because of the prostitutes vying for attention. It shouldn't be much of a surprise that the street that ends or begins with Beatlesplatz is also the one full of music and rock clubs. But like everything else along the Ripperbahn, there's a healthy dose of sexuality added to the mix in the form of heart-thumping music which you'd feel anywhere when you walk on the street. Ripperbahn is a mix of exactly what I was expecting plus a few nice surprises. Several blocks along the Ripperbahn were pretty much exactly how I imagined. That is, tipsy travelers from abroad facing difficulty walking a straight line while talking loudly and getting in trouble for sexualizing just about everything inside. Overall, the streets here are crowded with party people and drinking on streets is a usual sight as well. Hamburg is quite amazing for the way it comes to life at night, which is one of the major reasons why it attracts several tourists and locals alike. Speaking of locals, the nightlife here is fairly notorious amongst Germans. I mean, personally when I hear red light district, that's usually not on top of my travel radar. But in Hamburg, plenty of locals seem to be downright proud of the Ripperbahn's lustful and fun atmosphere. And I don't see a reason why not. And don't worry about the safety. Police keeps patrolling these areas and the station is right around the corner too. But I would definitely be aware of the pickpockets. And in case you get hungry during your party spree, don't worry because you can choose one of the many restaurants or even budget spots to grab a quick bite. So overall, irrespective of whether you are a party animal or a creativity admirer or even someone who's just looking for a quiet outing, there's something for everyone here. Alright guys, on that note I conclude this video, leaving you with this view of a group of tourists 
grooming to the beats of Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. They were definitely a fun group and in case my video is not convincing enough about Hamburg's fun nightlife, this should definitely convince you just how crazy it can be. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, keep exploring, thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one.